Alright, so now that you've got all your window tags and door tags in, we are going to start creating some schedules. So uh, there's three schedules in this project, a sheet list, which is a form of schedule, a window and a door schedule. So to create a schedule, what we do is we go to the schedules in our project browser and just like the sheets we can right click and say new schedule only there's there's quite a few options here there's another way to do that and that is on the view tab you can come up here to the schedules button and you get the different types of schedules and you can see that you can sched, uh, do a schedule of quantities a graphical column schedule for like a commercial building, a material takeoff, a sheet list, a note block, or a view list. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and create our sheet list. So let's click on that. And the only two fields that we want in our sheet list is uh, the sheet number and the sheet name. So we want the number to be first, so we select that first, and then the sheet name. And if you get these mixed up, you can use the up and down arrows to resort these. And I'm using the green uh, button to add a parameter and the red button deletes one out of a schedule. So once you get your scheduled uh, fields in here, you hit OK and it creates a schedule. So here you can see all of our plans or um, our sheets and their corresponding sheet numbers. But you'll notice that the sheet numbers are not in order. Uh, A00 is down here. Um, A3.1, for the most part they are, but you know there, there's a few weird things like the A40 is right here. So we need to sort these. So we come over here to our properties, our schedule properties, and we can click the sorting grouping, <coughs> excuse me, button and we can sort by in this field we choose sheet number and we do ascending so that'll go from low to high and we hit OK and you'll notice that this is now in order. Uh, there's a few more things we want to do. We select the sheet number, we come up to font and we want to make that bold so that's the that's the heading of these columns so we'll do that this, the same for the sheet name we'll, we'll select that uh, that cell and we'll change the font using this font appearance button up here and we'll say bold hit OK and that's essentially our sheet list now um, we're going to place that on our cover sheet and uh, so we go to our cover sheet that we've previously created and we simply just just like any other view expand your schedules and you'll see the sheet list you can just drag that right to your sheet we'll, we'll click once to place it uh, it doesn't look exactly the way we want it's it's doing this in two lines and you'll notice if you select the uh, schedule um, you get these little arrows and basically you can control uh, the format of this so we can make the sheet number slightly smaller and the sheet name slightly bigger and that's what we have now uh, actually you know what I think from the uh, final deliverable I got rid of the sheet number and sheet name because I think they're relatively uh, useless so we'll go back into our sheet and what we want to do is go to appearance uh, we do not want our headers so we're gonna not show headers hit OK and now you don't see headers uh, the other thing sorry I messed that up we also do not want a blank row before the data so again, I'm going to my schedule properties, 
clicking the appearance, edit appearance button and that brings up my sheet list properties. You'll also notice the fields, filter, sorting, grouping, formatting, appearance, these are all up here. So once I click one of these, I can go to any of these through this series of tabs. So the fields that are included, sheet number, sheet name, uh, there's filtering, sorting and grouping, which we've done, formatting, uh, which we're not really doing much, and then the appearance. So we're getting rid of that blank row before data and we're unchecking show headers. Hit OK, and what we'll have is a sheet list with just two columns. You go back to your cover sheet to see if that's correct, and it is. That's exactly what we want. I might move this over a little bit. Uh, for the observant of you, you'll also notice that my view here that we uh, I created last time now is showing shadows. Um, I, I changed that. I think that kind of makes this uh, this view pop a little bit better makes it look better. So if you go back to your 3D view, um, you can turn on down here in your view control bar. You can turn shadows on or off and you can turn those on. And if you want, I think I went through and changed over here in the view properties, the graphic display options. If you click that edit button, um, you come down to Shadows will have cast shadows because that's basically the same thing we just did down here with this button. Um, but for lighting, what you can do here is I chose just the summer solstice. So what I did in these uh, lighting settings, you do um, you click on this button and you hit still. So I want a still solar study and I just say summer solstice. I didn't bother changing anything else. Um, you know, the, the location is, is Boston. Um, it's Boston because the original Revit company was founded in Boston, so they set that to the default. But that's fine. We'll leave that. Hit OK, and it makes your makes your view look a little bit better with those shadows. You don't have to do that, but that's that's what I did. So next, we're going to create our window and our door schedule. So let's do our window schedule first so again we're going to come up to view tab schedules and this time we're going to do a schedule slash quantities uh, by default our filter list is architecture we scroll down until we find windows and notice these are all the categories that we have columns ceilings walls that sort of thing these are all our different categories so we're going to use windows and we're, we do want to schedule the building components and we want the new construction phase. This is all new construction. So you can hit OK. Now for the windows, we want to schedule the type mark. So the type mark is what uh, when we created those little tags, that's what was showing up in the tag. So we want that to be the first thing. So that references back to the plan. So we find the type mark here, add that to our scheduled fields. The next thing we want is the family of the window, which is, uh, you know, double hung. And then we want the type. So the type mark and the type are different. So the type mark, again, is just that, that tag number. And then the type is, if you remember correctly, it's the size of the window. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a count field in here, which will count the number of each individual window. So we're going to hit OK. And there's our window schedule. Easy as that. Now, again, we do have to do some formatting, however. What we need to do is first, again, let's get these in the right order. So what we'll do is sorting, grouping, edit, sort by type mark hit ok and now all door or window ones are listed first then window twos then threes fives sixes now this doesn't seem to really make sense because it's counting all of them as just individual objects if you go to sorry i think it's appearance Ah, sorry, it's sort of, it's back on our sorting grouping page. 
sort by type mark ascending that's what we just did down here at the bottom you want to uncheck itemize every instance if you hit OK now you'll see that it counts it, it uh, truncates all the all the instances into one row and then it gives you a count that there's hey, hey there's 13 window number ones and here's the family which gives the name of it or the description and the type which is the size and the quantity and I just realized on my final deliverable I did not change the name of the family I should have done that so what we're gonna do is actually I didn't change the the number either so let's let's be better than my final deliverable and we'll fix that so we'll call this number n capital n little o period the family we're actually going to call the type because these are um sort of standard architectural terms the type will actually call the size and then the count we're going to call QTY for quantity and again all of our um, our headings we're going to change the font to be bold the schedule editor in Revit is is very similar to uh, Microsoft Excel um, oops I clicked the wrong thing in that you can change the borders you can change shading you can change uh, fonts you can do mathematics on this you can do a lot of things and schedules are extremely useful in Revit so there is our window schedule now the one other thing that we're going to do is we are going to uh, again we're going to get rid of on a on the appearance tab we're going to get rid of that blank row before data it gets rid of that little extra space now we can go to our cover sheet and just drag our window schedule right onto the cover again it's going to uh, show these in two lines for some reason so I'll stretch that out my door or sorry window number can be much smaller the quantity can be smaller and there's my window schedule again you could schedule much more information in this but for for this project this will be enough Next is our door schedule. So pretty much the same as the window schedule. We'll go to schedules, schedule quantities, find the doors category, hit OK. This time, however, we want, let's see here, what do we want? We want mark not type mark but mark because again doors are a little bit different than windows in that each mark is uh, a unique number we're gonna do construction type then we're gonna do type and then we're gonna do a description and it doesn't say it in the instructions but I'm actually gonna do the family as well but I'm gonna get rid of that later and I'll show you why I do that here in a second and there there's our door schedule and the next video uh, will pick up on editing this door schedule to make it look like we want